Welcome to my channel. We're doing an uh, unboxing today. My daughter Callie is here with me. She's not impressed that she's on camera. <laughs> Can you tell? Um, so, yeah, I've had had a bit of a... To say we've had a shitty month would be an understatement, okay? And um, in true fashion, I, 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 I went shopping. And um, it came today. And um, I was a bit annoyed actually because I was mowing the lawn and Daryl answered the door and he'd already scanned it, signed for it and had it in his hands before I could get to the door. So I wasn't impressed. But guess where I've been? I shopped on the DM site. Now, the reason I shopped on the DM site was because, well, DMs, yeah. Um, because of fashion. Because they, DMs, what more, what more do you need? Um, they have a sale. Ah, there's Daryl. You can say hi, YouTube. Oh, yeah, you can say hi, YouTube. Mm. I'll get a drink in a sec, okay? I'm just unboxing these. I'm scowling at the camera. <laughs> he doesn't love YouTube today. I don't know what you guys have done, but there you go. Um, yeah, they had a sale on. So, um, yeah, I bought them. So, I'm going to open them. I really hope they fit as well, because I'll be gutted if they don't. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really gutted if they don't fit. Right. Returns. We'll do our best to make sure your return goes as smoothly as possible. You can return your docs items in their original condition and packaging within 30 days of receiving order. We will process your return within 21 days of receipt. All returns are refunded in GBP. I ordered the Pascal ones. Nice, they give you a um, label for returning. That there, don't lose it. And then just a thing that says you can, how basically how you can return it. You can just drop it off, there's a sticky label. Awesome. Sticky thingy label. More paper. Probably your receipt. That is my invoice, yeah. Lovely. For a fight. Oh, no, 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 not easy. Right. So I'm gonna change cameras so you guys can see. Well, I'm gonna shrink me. There you go. Majorly shrink. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> paper. Paper. I ordered paper. Right. Oh, those are lush. I like those a lot. Oh, those are really nice. Aren't they lovely? Huh? They feel nice, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know they did that in the bottom of their boxes, did you? That's clever. That's really cool. That's really cool. There's things in my shoes. There's things in my shoes. Tissue paper. I have a bit of a thing for tissue paper. I'm a crafter. Right. You missed completely, <laughs> you useless woman. They're well stuffed with tissue paper, as you can see. Ooh. I really hope they fit. They smell lush. Because, you know, leather. So. There you go, I'm going to put it like there so you guys can have a decent look. I've got tissue paper all over the bloody place because I've been shopping quite a bit. Oh, is that affecting the light? <laughs> just suddenly thought. Right. So, the reason I went for these was because I've been doing a lot of watercolouring in the past sort of year or so. And I quite like doing flowers when I, when I get it right. And um, I really, really like these. I didn't realise that they're blue. They're blue. I thought they were black. I could tell they were blue from the picture you showed me. Yeah. I, thought you knew they were I didn't really pay that much attention. Blue. The laces are blue yeah, too. The laces are blue well. And they're, nice, they're the nice round ones, not the flat ones. Yeah. Which I really like. I did contemplate getting another pair and she's going to go, oh! She, there you go. She knew exactly where I was going with that. We used to own a four, pair of 14 hole <gasps> roses ones. You were going to get those? Yeah, no, they, they would not have. 
they wouldn't have made it to my house. She'd have been on the doorstep ready to mug the pavement. The reason I didn't is because I suffer from psoriasis and I've got a very, very bad patch on one of my calves at the moment. And if I'd ordered them, I'd have had to wear tights or socks or something between me and the boot to stop the boot from sticking to me. Yeah, um, and, and, and that would have been quite uncomfortable. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a regular pair and we'll go from there. So I'm, I'm going to enlarging me again hi thank you very much these are really nice okay so how do they feel well they feel like regular dms the it always surprises me how thin the leather is doesn't it on yeah. dms they kind of feel like a mix between leather and like converse type yeah it's like the leather like a thick converse it's like the leather's been treated with like a texture paint because there's a there's a i'm gonna take you back to the other camera and see if i can get the boot in close so you guys can see it hang on i have a focusy thing on here i've just got to make sure i use the right blooming one <clears throat> right okay okay so here's the boot right up close can you see the sort of like weave on it almost? I mean, the stitching is impeccable as per normal. They actually go right over the edge at the corners, which I think is fantastic. But look, it's so neat. But yeah, it's like the leather's got a sort of, and it doesn't feel as smooth as smooth, smooth, smooth leather, if you know, <laughs> if that makes sense. But that's the flowers all up close. They're stunning. I'm really, really pleased with those. And the typical good old yellow DM stitching around the soles. So let's try them on. Let's try them on. That didn't sound good. Someone breaking a bit quick outside. Right, let's see if I can get them on. Oh, shut up. They're tight on that seam at the bottom of the tongue. Yeah. The tongue's quite stiff as well. That might be why. Oh, you might find they're not going to be able to be comfy to walk in for because that tongue is really stiff. Tongue is fucking back. Probably going to be in the front too. Well, I can't get my foot right in because of the, the tongue digging in so much. Mm. Tongue is stiff. Mm. Very stiff. See what I mean? I can't get it to lay. Yeah, I know. I can feel it on this one. It can't get it to lay quite flat. It doesn't want to bend properly. Hmm. I might contact them and say, look, this seems a bit. And then when you do that, it just. <laughs> when you try and tighten it. What is it doing? Yeah. That's like folded really weird. Oh, that does not look very comfy. It's really tight where the seam of the tongue is. Mm. It's really tight across the top of my foot really tight and it feels like my my foot is moving in the back of the shoe that's going to cause yeah. friction isn't it yeah it is you're, you're going to have the same problem that you would have with the um, knee highs you'd have to wear longer socks with them yeah because it's already cutting into my bloody leg on top of it how annoying so is that a case of it doesn't it's too big or too small rather i don't i don't know is it just well, if they were any really smaller off? i wouldn't be able to get my bloody foot in them That'd be no good. I couldn't be able to walk far in those simply because I've got no movement room in them. No. And yet my toe is only about there. Mm. So I've got loads of room at the end. 
but they are so tight. They need, they need breaking in them, basically. They're so, no, they're just, there's, there's no room there. That is cutting in to my foot. <laughs> she's the same size as me, so she's going to try try one on as well. Yeah, but my feet are shaped differently to yours. My feet are slightly narrower, so I don't know if that's going to help at all. Probably not. Where's <coughs> that seam? It is, yeah. Where the tug shape. attaches to the boot is so tight. Oh, I can't even get my foot in properly. And when I took my foot out, look, look. I've got a line across the top of my foot. Holy fuck. I've had them on two minutes, guys, and I've got not even that. And I've got a line across the top of my foot where the tongue's dug in. Yeah. What? That's a real shame. I was I mean, really, I was really looking I mean, forward to that. Once they're broken in, they might be a little bit comfier because obviously they'll stretch a bit. Not cutting my feet to pieces. Those are a size eight. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't have thought they were. And see, that doesn't feel too bad to me. It does on the back. Like, yeah. there, that bit's rubbing. Yeah, that but bit didn't rub just... on me, but across the top of my foot, I mean, look. Yeah, but I have the same issue when I have the um, 14 hole ones, the back rubbed. Yeah. I think that's quite good thing. <laughs> hmm. But then they wouldn't. I had the 14 hole ones, and all that was was literally just breaking and chewing. Yeah. And then it was fine. Breaking in, I can understand if they, it was just a case of they're stiff. Those are not stiff, those are tight. Yeah, they are quite tight. Across the top of the foot, that's yeah. no good. And I can't go up a size because that would just make them longer, which would make them even more uncomfortable. Mm. So, yeah. That's the issue I found with Converse and DMs and Bit stuff. Bit pissed off that about that. Thank you. That's a real shame because I really, really like them and I wanted to wear them. But they are just, I'll show you where they are tight. I want to just actually see the seam as well. Yeah. All right, hang on a sec. Goodbye, focus. Right. You see at the bottom of the tongue, where the tongue is attached to the boot and it goes all the way along. That is so tight across the top of my foot. I've still got a line from where I had that one on mm. for a minute tops. There is even no... Like, actually, even I've got a very slight line. Yeah. See very slight. Yeah. Line. There is not much room. I mean, the rest of the boot is fine, but where it, it dips so much there and then you've got this seam. If that was all one piece, probably all right. that wouldn't have been an issue. And the tongue's very stiff. The tongue's very stiff, but that would have given with time. No. Um, it's because it's attached. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Notice the, the, the tongue is thing. actually attached under here, which means that you can't really tuck it down because it's all attached. Because the tongue is attached to the buttons, you can't tuck it down. So when I actually had it on, the tongue was all like bunched up like this. And because it was so tight here, you'd have to have a very specific type of foot for these to fit. Or just cut the sides of the tongue. Or you could cut, yeah, like she says, you can cut the side, the sides, maybe cut the tongue free. Yeah, that's probably what I would end up doing. But... Because it looks silly as well because of the way it... Yeah, I don't, I really don't get... I'm going to unlace it to make it a bit easier to see. I don't get why they've done it like this. I've never seen this, an attached tongue. I just, that. I've seen that on like soft trainers and stuff. Yeah, never on, on something that's really soft, like that. but not on leather, which no, is, is stiff really to begin with. You know, I mean, I can't even straighten that out because it is so stiff, yeah. this leather. Yeah, that system is really dumb. And like I said, it's this seam across here. It's just far too tight. I'm really gutted because I really wanted those to fit because I like them. I like them a lot. Um, lengthwise, they're perfect. They fit my feet really nicely. It's just that bit across the top. So I'm gonna have to return them, which is a real shame. No, I'm not giving them to you. I'm mean, whispering in the background. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Um, 
They're oil, fat, acid, petrol, alkali resistant. With a cushion sole. I really wanted them to fit. I am really pissed off that they don't. <laughs> but yeah, that seam there is... I could have dealt with the tongue because that would have softened over time. Not that seam though, because that is bordering on bloody unpain bloody painful actually, not just uncomfortable. Um yeah, I don't get I don't get why they've done that design, quite frankly. So there you go. Thumbs down, I'm afraid, DM. Gutted. Yeah, absolutely gutted. I really, really wanted them to fit. Maybe I need to go to Southampton and try yeah, try them on, the try try on in the shop. Um, trouble is, our nearest DM shop is a uh, twenty minute, twenty pound ferry ride away, and in the city. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and they don't have all of the ones in stock either, do they? Because there's so many on the site. They've mostly got trainers. Yeah, and I want I want proper boots. I found when I looked in the shop, it was either trainers or like the heels. Yeah. Well, they're really long, but it wasn't any like that. No, there wasn't was any like this. Two pairs, and they were just black. Yeah, they did have the pair of the sparkly ones, didn't they? Yes, because we looked at those, ones. but almost fuchsia. Yeah, they were they the <laughs> purple ones. The purple ones were like mega pink, <laughs> and I was like, oh, and I did. I nearly did buy them. I bought these because they were on sale, and Shame. by the time I get over to the shop, they're not going to be on sale anymore. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is. I can try breaking them in and see if it loosens the seam up. But then if that doesn't work, then you can't exactly send them I'm back. I'm down 80 pounds, yeah. Yeah. I'll just give you eight quid for them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but if it works, you just give it back to me. <laughs> you want to try breaking them in? Yeah, why not? And if they don't, if, it, if after a month or so they still are not comfortable for me, you then pay me for them. Yeah, that works for me. And there you go. I guess that's what we're going to have to do. I might in the meantime try buying the next size up. <laughs> gonna be matching. <laughs> okay, I like them and I want a pair. The only thing I can think of to break them in is either really thick plasters where they it's hang on, you can see this that seam, that's what rubs on. Is that them. that's the seam so that affects one. you, is it? Yeah, so the seam she has issues with is that one. Across the back. Which Which they always rub Yeah, that's that's where the rigid thing yeah, inside is. That's, that's the rubbing. reinforcement inside. See that's not bothering me quite so much. But yeah, that seam is what bothers her. But the trouble is I can't put a plaster on because that's just going to add more fucking bulk to it, isn't it? Yeah, true. Yeah, but if the back of your foot doesn't fit very well in it anyway. But it's not, the back's fine. I could yeah, walk in these and, and be absolutely oh, fine. Yeah, it no, is that bit across yeah. the top for me. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll probably just buy some like really chunky ass plasters and just stick them on the back of my heels or something. And then once I can stop that So one. yeah, any suggestions, ladies and gents? on how to loosen these even so that i don't have to give them to her for a month i've heard that um like if you get a bag of ice and stick it like in the shoe it helps I don't, I don't know. Know. but then you've got the issue of you know if you don't stick it in the freezer and that's you then have a soaking machine <laughs> this is true but they're water resistant it says on bomb <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's any suggestions people on how to loosen some seams whether they can be loosened you know or am i about to give away an 80 pound pair of shoes and she'll pay me for them, but she I pays me pay you bits. She paid me in instalments. I am poor. Well. <laughs> um, yeah. I can do it all in one go at work. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gutted. She's not. <laughs> I'm going to pair of DMs. For She's going to pair of DMs for at least a month. So yeah, <laughs> there you go. Be too fucking hot to wear. Them. It's good. <laughs> I'll break them in, I'll break them in. No, it's too hot. It's too, I'll, it'll be October before I get them. You watch. Because <laughs> you'll be like, no, I haven't worn them. It's too fucking hot. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, at the moment, it's a thumbs down. Who, who knows? That might improve. Come, come, ch come check my social media in about a month or so and ask me whether they're mine or not. <laughs> um, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. We love the comments. Uh, if you click the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that should appear down there and YouTube wants to play nice, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs>